hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so if you guys are preparing for any competitive exam be it gate it jam csr net any of the exams where uh, advanced questions are asked especially from physical chemistry in that case this video is going to be super important for you because here we are going to learn how to do unit conversion using universal gas constant now this is something which is actually to the point and which is generally asked in the exam i'll try to cover some more unit conversions but this is something which is very crucial and every one of you sh should know that how to convert units from one of the form of uh, gas constant to the other one and recently if you see the previous years of gate exam you will find out that recently they have started asking these type of questions where they will give you values in a particular unit and they will ask you values in another unit so let's figure it out let's understand how to do that before going into the video if you like the content please do subscribe the channel and please give a like to this particular video now without wasting any time let's continue with our video all right so this universal gas constant r comes basically from ideal gas equation that is pv is equals to nrt now if you look upon the uh, equation over here you will find out that r should be equal to pv upon nt that means it should have some part of pressure it should have some part of volume it should have some part of temperature in the inverse form and some part of moles so the typical values or the typical units which will come from this equation will contain some unit of pressure that may be in atm or bar or uh, tor or it may be in um, pascals and the volume will be either in terms of liter or meter cube temperature will be in kelvin and n is going to be the number of moles so per moles it will be now depending upon different values of pressure because we have various different uh, functions or various different units of pressure like we have pascal then we have uh, atm then we have bar then we have tor so we have so many units of pressure depending upon that r values also changes similarly if i talk about volume so for volume we have liter then we have meter cube these are the two basic unit of uh, un uh, like volume which we generally use so depending upon that again the value of r is going to change temperature is usually measured in kelvin so temperature is not going to make any much difference and n is in terms of mole so that again n is also not going to make much changes so these units are going to play major role in describing it so first form of uh, like values will be based upon this ideal gas equation and will be coming in these terms now the second form of uh, like a gas constant you might get it in the form of energy terms like gibbs free energy so delta g is equals to minus nrt then we have ln uh, k now it can be in a various form like there are different forms of energy but i have just taken one of it so which equation you are actually much familiar with now k is actually unitless over here so considering the other things you will find out that r from here will be like delta g upon nt with a negative sign so the unit of delta g will be in the terms of energy so this is your energy term then this is your moles and this is your temperature now depending upon different values of energies now energy can be either in joules it can be in calories it can be in ergs depending upon that you will have different values of r again the other things uh, does not change much moles will remain in moles itself temperature will remain in uh, in kelvin itself so they are not going to make much differences but these are the things which you are going to see from the energy perspective now let me tell you the different values of r so the values of r which you will come across is either 8.314 or you will get the value of 0 0.0831 or you will get the value of 2 okay so these are the three major values of r which we come across and let's see according to the unit that what exactly they are and when we have to, you have to use that particular unit okay so these are the uh, units uh, or these are the condition where the value of r will be 8.314 so when you are going to use that so the first condition you can see that the volume over here in this case the volume the volume is in liters right pressure if you see pressure is in kilopascal right so the pressure is in kilopascal and then of course temperature is going to remain in kelvin 
and uh, moles will remain in moles so these thing are not going to change so i'm not going to talk about these two because they are going to remain constant so changes you will see only in the values or, or the unit of volume and pressure okay so if the volume is in liter pressure is in kilopascal you are going to use 8.314 now let's say that your volume instead of in liters it is in uh, meter cube okay and then pressure is in let's say is in uh, pascal in that case again you are going to use 8.314 now see the changes here volume instead of liter you are now mentioning it in terms of meter cube and pressure in instead of uh, kilopascal you are like uh, representing it or you are showing it in terms of pascal now you should know the changes between this liter and meter cube now let me just quickly tell you that so basically uh, one uh, kilopascal this is quite obvious that it is equals to 1000 pascals or i will just simply say that 10 to the power 3 pascal all right so that means 10 to the power 3 factor is going to make the difference over there and what is the relationship between liters and meter cube so 1 liter is equals to 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube okay so this is the relationship which we have between kilopascal and pascal and liters and meter cube so you can substitute and you can get the values more like if let's say uh, your pre your volume is in liter itself and let's say the pressure instead of kilopascal it comes in pascal and per kelvin per mole now if you have to write down the value so what you have to do since you have converted pa kilopascal to pascal you will multiply by 10 to the power 3 so it will the value of r will be 8.314 into 10 to the power 3 this is the value of r which you are going to use when you are going to have these values of that means volume in pressure uh, liters and pressure in pascal not kilopascal so again if you see this over here so what i am doing instead of liter if i am mentioning this or if i am expressing this in terms of meter cube so what i have to do is uh, since I know that 1 liter has 10 to the power minus 3 meter, so I'll simply multiply with this minus 3. So it becomes what? 8.314 into 10 to the power 3 into 10 to the power minus 3. Now instead of liter, I have to write down meter cube, pascal per Kelvin per mole. And now these two things are going to get cancelled out. And this is what you will get. That is 8.314 meter cube, pascal per Kelvin per mole. So it is as simple as that just by changing liter and meter cube you have to do so you don't have to get confused over here you don't have to remember a lot of things all you need to remember is when you are given with uh, volume in liters and pressure in kilopascal in that case you also you are going to use 8.314 and if you are given with uh, volume in terms of meter cube and pressure in terms of pascal then also you are going to use 8.314 all right now the next value of this is in terms of when you have the value in terms of joules okay so here this comes from the energy factor the energy conversion factor so over here your energy should be in terms of joules and the rest of the things are same that is temperature is in kelvin and uh, like uh, moles is in per mole so that is as is it okay now we all know that how to convert joules into erg so we know that one joule is equals to 10 to the power 7 erg okay 10 to the power uh, yeah so we have 10 to the power 7 ergs in one joule so we can simply write it down so what will be the value in terms of ergs then so 8.314 into 10 to the power uh, 7 erg per kelvin per mole okay so as simple as that so you have just converted this thing in terms of uh, like in in terms of uh, ergs all right fine so these are some of the values which you come across 8.314 now let's look upon the other value which is quite common and that is 0 0.0831 or 0 0.0821 so the value which is 0 0.08 so that has a unit of liter bar per kelvin per mole that means here your volume is in liters and your pressure Asian is in bar so if your pressure is in bar and volume is in liter in that case you can use this particular value all right whereas if you again if your volume is in terms of liter whereas pressure is in terms of atm because we know that one bar is roughly equal to one atm so that means they can be interchanged and the values are going to remain same that is 0 0.0831 
we will see in the later part of this video that how you can convert this unit into this one but for now we are just trying to understand that which unit or which value we have to use in what place okay we have one more value of uh, r that is universal gas constant that is 1.987 you can say or you can call it roughly around 2 so 2 calories per kelvin per mole this again comes from the energy value so here when the energy is expressed in terms of calories so if the energy is expressed in terms of calories you can mention or you can put the value of r as 2 and this will do your work so these were the values of r and what is the like when you are going to use which value so I have just given you the conditions you should be very careful you should be very much aware about it okay uh, so just remember these things note note them down and try to utilize them while solving it now let's see how to convert them how to make conversion now let's try to see a practical use of this particular concept of uh, conversion of unit using R there was a question which was asked in gate 2019 exam the question says that an ideal gas occupies an unknown volume V liters at some pressure of 12 atm the gas expands isothermally against a constant external pressure of 2 atm so that its final volume becomes 3 liter now the work involved in this expansion process is how much calories okay they have given you that R is equal to 0 0.082 liter atm per mole per kelvin and this is also equal to 2 calories per mole per kelvin now although they have given you units in the quotient sometimes they might not give you so you should know the values of and the units okay so the quotient itself was not that difficult it was pretty simple and straightforward quotient it was like key initially let's say the volume let's say i don't know initial volume is let's say some v and uh, like the initial pressure pi is let's say uh, 12 atm okay so that's what we have some uh, like uh, we have that the gas is expanded isothermally against a constant external pressure so the external pressure which you are ex experiencing or external pressure which you are applying is 2 atm whereas uh, like yeah th so the final volume the final volume is becoming 3 liters now you have to find out the work done in this case so as i said uh, the gas is expanding isothermally so it is going to follow boyle's law and according to the boyle's law okay the boyle's law says that pv is equals to constant right so we have initial pressure pi vi is equals to pf vf now initial pressure is 12 atm initial volume is v i don't know about that uh, final pressure is 2 atm and uh, uh, final volume is 3 uh, liters okay so what is going to be the value of initial volume so it will be 6 by 12 and that will give you 0 0.5 liters so this is what i have just calculated that the initial volume is going to be 0 0.5 liters all right now i need to find out work done now you know that work done against external pressure is p external uh, with a minus sign and then you have uh, like final minus minus initial so v final minus v initial if you substitute the values what we will get is minus now p external external pressure was how much that was 2 atm so it will be 2 i will also write down unit so 2 atm and the volume final volume is 3 liters initial volume is 0.5 liters i will also write down the unit of volume that is liters or just l i will write down if you solve this basically you will get um, minus 2 into 0. Point, uh, sorry this will be uh, 2.5 and this will be liter atm right the unit is going to come up liter atm here uh, this is going to be said as minus 5 liter atm now the answer is coming in liter atm you can see the unit here that cannot be the answer here that's what the thing which you have to use now you have to use the unit conversion now so you have to answer in calories you have unit in liter atm so let's see how to convert it how to use this we have ki r is equals to 0 0.082 according to the question we'll use that so 0 0.082 liter atm per mole per kelvin so uh, liter atm per mole per kelvin okay and this is also equal to 2 calories per mole per kelvin so i will also write down 2 calories per mole per kelvin now once you compare them you can simply cancel out kelvin to uh, kelvin 
and per mole to per mole. What you will get is 0 0.082 liter ATM is equals to 2 calories. Now, since we have got the answer in liter ATM, so it is very important for you to find out what is the value of 1 liter ATM. So, the value of 1 liter ATM will be how much? 2 divided by 0 0.082. This much calories you will get. So, now you got a conversion unit to convert liter ATM into calories. It is as simple as that. So how you will do this? Basically, you will now accord for the quotient. What we will do? That for the quotient, we were having, for the quotient, we were having work done is equals to minus 5 liter ATM. So, if you convert it into calories, so it will be minus 5 into 2 divided by 0 0.082 uh, calories. So, this is how you convert the answer in calories. So, this calculation is going to come up somewhere around minus 121.95 calories. So, you have used unit conversion from liter ATM to calories by using the values or the by using the units of R. And that's how your final answer for this question becomes 121.95 calories. And this is the correct answer for this question. So, that's why it becomes very important for us to know and to convert the units in one another. I will give you one question so that you guys can also try. You can also convert the units and get the answer out. Now, this is one of the question which was asked in GATE 2021 exam. It is again similar to what we have done in the previous question. Here it says, that 2 liter of gas at 1 atm pressure is reversibly heated to reach final volume of 3.5 liters okay and what they are asking is the absolute value of work done on the gas rounded off to the nearest integer in how many joules now they are asking the answer in joule so simple simple it is that the initial volume initial volume is given 2 liters final volume is given to you 3.5 liters pressure external pressure which is given to you is 1 atm you only have to use the formula of work which is p external delta v minus p external delta v put the values of your volume over there like the work done will be minus p external then v final minus v initial put the values of volume find out the work this work will be in the unit of what this work will get some value in the terms of liter atm once again you have to convert this liter atm into joules now so you have to use two different values of r to convert liter atm into joules you can use the conversion values i will give you the, like the slides where we have discussed that so you have to convert liter atm into joules so you know that uh, this is what you get 0.0831 or 0.082 uh, liter atm per kelvin per mole and that is equals to 8.314 uh, joules per Kelvin. You have to use this conversion unit to change or to make the changes. So, I will just write down here so that you can do this of your own. Basically, 8.314 joules per Kelvin per mole is equals to 0 0.082 uh, liter ATM per Kelvin per mole. Okay. So, Kelvin, Kelvin will cancel out, mole, mole will cancel out. Now, you have to find out how, how much 1 liter ATM is equals to in joules and then you have to put it and do it for me, okay. Tell me, tell me in the comment section what answer you have got, whether you understood how to make these conversions or not and do let me know if you guys want more unit conversion related videos in the upcoming days. I will try to make them before the gate exam comes and your IIT jam, jam exam also. So that's it from my side for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care. Hey, guys. So, I teach live on Unacademy Plus platform. Here, I teach for the CSIR UGC net category. And you can follow me over here for regular classes. You can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform. The classes which are free, you can get that under the section of special classes. Whereas, in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription so do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there so make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda
that's it for this thank you so much